What's up, YouTube? Today is August 15th, 2015. <laughs> I'm here at the Conowingo Hydro Station. Most people know this place or refer to this place as the Conowingo Dam on the Susquehanna River. So I will be fishing today with two other YouTubers, Chris McIntyre and Mike Shell. And let me give you guys a good view of this place. Well, the place itself is pretty much packed already. All right, you guys can have a nice view of this place. We got our little stripe bass crew over there. We got our little carp crew over here. Oh yeah, that guy, ooh, he's got a band on the rod, man. Probably got a bite right there. And we got the dam right over here with a little bit of current coming out at the moment. So this is the place where we'll be fishing today. Yeah, that guy, that guy's got a fish on his rod, man. And I will be going down there. We'll see how it goes. Like I mentioned previously, I will be here with two other YouTubers today. Chris McIntyre and Mike Shell. Mike Shell is not here yet. Chris McIntyre is currently preparing his stuff. And you know, hopefully I'll catch some fish to show you guys. I'm not sure what they will be fishing for or what they will be using. However, I will be multi-species fishing. So, you know, hopefully I will show you guys some different species of fish from the Susquehanna River. Never fished here before and have high expectations. And of course, let's see what, what, what is on the line of that dude right there. Oh yeah, the fish is surfacing right now. What is that, a carp? It's a catfish. I think it's a catfish. That guy's pumping, man. That guy's pumping. Yeah, I think that's a catfish. Now, that guy is taking his time. I'm not going to film the whole thing. But anyways, we know that there's fish here. That's good stuff. <laughs> and I've seen plenty of fish jump. So that's good too. All right, let me, let me get myself set up now. <laughs> I'll be back. So what is your game plan for today? Uh, gonna rig up this uh, Conowingo rig. Okay, <laughs> all right, the Conowingo rig, huh? Calm it out on my freaking rod. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. Catch more stripers than anyone else, probably. All right, so the goal for today is to catch some striped bass. Yep. All right, are you going to attempt for flatheads later in the day? Yeah. All right, cool. So you heard, guys. The stripers and flatheads is the same rig. There you go, you guys heard it, man. Mackintyre is going for the big fish. Yeah. We'll see how many he will catch today. A lot of pressure on him now. And then Mike's gonna be here around 12, 12.30. Wow, we got one guy semi-naked there, man. Yep. Things that you don't see when you stay at home, folks. Oh boy. All right, let me set up my stuff. I'll be back. Alrighty folks, lesson number one, every time you come somewhere new, the first thing that you do, or at least the first thing that I do, is really measure the depth of the place and see how snaggy it is. So since I've never been here before, I'm going to show you guys my setup. I'm using a Cortland Endurance 9 feet rod with a Shimano Symmetry 4000 FL, 12 pounds Berkley, Berkley Vanish fluorocarbon, with a 2 ounce sinker. And my goal for now, since I've never been here before, is to measure the depth of this place and see how snaggy it is. So I'm willing to sacrifice about three sinkers. So let's check it out, this place. Let's see how fast the current is as well. Very shallow. five to seven feet. People tend to tell me that this place is really snaggy, but so far I haven't felt any rocks. So it may be much snaggier around the end of the dam. Okay, fairly good. Wow, fairly good. Okay, it's getting a little snaggy now. Okay, not too bad. 
carbon is pretty fast for a two ounce. Cast one more time. Again, seven to 10 feet. No big rocks, no snags out there, which is good because I will be able to do my fishing like this. And then gets a little bit snaggy around this area. Yep, right here, okay. Yeah, actually you guys can see right here, there's a little, not a current break, but it forms a little eddy on that side. So it is expected that it gets a little bit snaggy. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'm snagged for good. Good, got out. Great, so there you go, folks. First thing that you do when you come to a new place to fish, or at least what I do, tie it on the sinker, get a feel for the depth of the place, see how deep it is, how fast the current is, and how easy it is to get snagged. Now that I have all those things in mind, I'm gonna attach my bait on. Finally, fish on. Small one, but it counts. Yeah, first fish of the day. There we go. Small channel cat. First species of the day, a small channel cat from the corner wingo. Damn. A better saying from the Susquehanna River. Not that I didn't know that they were here already, but hey, you know. Look, look how beautiful that fish is. Look at that. I gotta say, it's a gorgeous sample. Channel cat will always be a channel catch. Now I just need three more species for the day to complete my goal of four species. There we go. Channel cat. Quick take a photo of this little guy. There we go. Off he goes. All right, folks, so we are moving to another spot at the moment. As you guys saw, uh, we got kicked out of the Conowingo Dam, which uh, it's totally fine. I ended up catching one small channel catfish, but you know, as you guys saw, uh, there, there were some common carp around, there were some striped bass, but that was pretty much it. Oh, and one guy full hooked uh, flathead catfish. Less than 10 pounds, I would say. Yeah, eight pounds. Yes. Uh, folks, although it is in the video, please do not attempt to do what we did. That was uh, against the law, of course. You will get kicked out. You will get kicked out of the Conowingo Dam, and we were very lucky that nobody pressed charges, okay? But we, just so you guys know, we were oblivious, okay? We had no idea that swimming was not allowed in that place, okay? But yeah, so now we know. But anyways, it's not a big deal. We're gonna move to the other spot right now. Hopefully, we'll catch some other types of fish. I'll keep in touch. <sighs> What's up, YouTube? Today is August 15th. <clears throat> August 15th, 2015. I'm here in the Sassafras River in Maryland. I'm fishing with two other YouTubers today. You got uh, Mike Shaw from the One Rod, One Reel Fishing there. And you got Chris McIntyre here by his car. He's organizing his stuff so far. We're gonna do some bass fishing. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what they gotta do. I gotta do some multi-species fishing. And I will try to catch whatever's available around here. Hopefully you guys will be able to see Mike catching some bass and McIntyre pulling some stuff. There are There is plenty of cover around here. There are no signs saying no trespassing, no fishing. So that is amazing. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you guys updated.
All right, let's see what it is. Is maybe a white perch? What? You gotta be kidding me! What is this? This looks like a bowhead. Yeah, this looks like a brown bowhead. Watch. Yeah, I think it, I think it's a bowhead. Yeah. You want to save this as bait? Okay. Yeah, folks, first fish here at the Sassafras Sass River, something like that, man. A little bow hat. Now, I tell you what, I believe this is a brown bow hat. Yep, a little brown bow hat. There you go, guys. Very aggressive. Gonna be careful with the pectoral and dorsal fin. Yep, brown bow hat for sure. There we go. All right. Nope, I'm snagged. Oh, I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. I'm off. <laughs> another, another small one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Hey, second species of the day, man. First a bowhead, now a channel catfish. So we just got kicked out of Conaway Dam because I went swimming for one of my lures, and apparently you can't do that. <laughs> so I went. Uh, yeah, one that of was Chris pretty McAfee's funny. Spot. Uh, he's over there fixing a the jig. Uh, this is the Sassafras River. Doing a lot of dock fishing. Also got Leo Shang here, extreme yes. Philly fishing. Da -da -da. Leo specializes in uh, multi-species. And Chris has been catching a lot of big fish from uh, sharks recently and stripers. You guys can check out their channels. I'll put the uh, links in the description. Yeah. I don't mind the size too much. I just want it to be different. Ah, there, there we go. go. What is that? A white perch. White perch, all right. Third species of the day. And this white perch, I'm gonna chop it up. <laughs> this is gonna be my my bait. The flatheads maybe? Are there flatheads in here? I, I am not sure. I have no yeah. idea. I was about to but say, yes. The water's muddy. That would be good for, for me. I can at least I know where the fish will be positioned. So we'll see if I catch a nice bass. Yes, yes. This is gonna be good bait. It's time to throw this night crawler away and use the cut white perch, and see if I can catch anything bigger or anything different. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, why does it feel so small? Okay. Yeah, cut bait. Look at that. Whoa, what happened to my oh shoelace knot? Oh, oh man. Got it with the regular knot. Yeah. The shoelace knot. The shoelace knot. That's why I was like, where's my sinker? All right, another little channel cat. All right, folks, so far I got three different species of fish, a white perch, brown bowhead, and channel catfish. Here, you guys can see this is Mike from One Rod, One Real Fishing. I had the giant there is Chris McIntyre from the Chris McIntyre channel. They are on a quest to catch largemouth bass. <laughs> we will see how the head goes. And my goal is still to catch four different types of fish. So I'm still short of one type of fish. We will see how that goes. Currently, I'm using this setup here. Let me show you guys. I'm using my Cortland Endurance 9 feet noodle rod with my Shimano Symmetry 4000 FL. 12 pounds Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon line with a three way swivel and then a size six hook with a white perch tail. So we will see how that goes. Pretty excited about it. Hopefully I'll be able to catch plenty of different types of fish.
Oh yeah, this looks like a good place. Okay, what's going on with you now, huh? That's um some expensive stuff here, man. bananas dude are you brought four of them yeah why did you bring four bananas man we'll be out here all day. wow I, I brought peanuts yeah I'll take a banana later ah Mike and his bananas What is this? I don't feel any fight. Gotta be a snag. Or something weird. Oh, it is a fish. It is a fish. Let's see what I got here. Oh, it is another bowhead. Yeah. Yeah, small brown bowhead. Chris McIntyre is talking about, you know, using bowheads to fish flatheads. That's like what he does in one of his videos. Let me leave that at the info button for you guys. <laughs> Back to fish. Mike and his bananas, man. I gotta tell you though, it is nutritional, easy to peel, it's rich in potassium, it doesn't give you cramps. And digest easily. Bananas, dude. That's the way to go. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Because one time I went to the Delaware stage and there was this creek called Non Such Creek. Yeah. And I was just like, that's a, that's a weird name. Unicorn Uni Lake. Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Got it. This is it. This is it. where you're gonna park. Fish. Unicorn fishing lane. We're here. Closed, well, closed for cars. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, brother. Dude, it's called Unicorn, unicorn Mill Lake. Fishing Lake. Uh, yeah, Unicorn Mill Lake. Fish on. Yeah. Let's see what this is. We got ourselves a green sunfish. Yeah, fourth species of the day. Green sunfish from the from the unicorn. <laughs> Believe it or not, this place is called Unicorn 
uh, Unicorn Lake or Unicorn, oh, Unicorn Mill Pond, Unicorn Mill Pond. There we go. All right. Sounds like. To Sean, whatever this is. This is a red breast sunfish. That's our species number five for the day. Red breast sunfish from the unicorn mill pond. There we go. So, so far today we have caught channel catfish, brown bowhead, white perch, green sunfish, and now a red breast sunfish. All right, fellas, quick update. Right now is about eight o'clock. As you guys saw today, I fished with Mike from One Rod, One Reel Fishing, and Chris McIntyre from the Chris McIntyre ch channel. And uh, first, we started our day at the Conowingo Dam. I got one channel catfish. Chris McIntyre got two striped bass and one channel catfish. Then we moved to this river that the name whose name I forgot <laughs> I I caught what was it was a couple white perch a couple brown bowhead and a couple channel catfish and finally we moved to this place called unicorn mills lake where I caught a couple red breast sunfish and green sunfish uh, so we are almost calling it a day I'm gonna give a couple more casts with a size 10 hook and a trout magnet see if I can hook anything else and then if not, you know, that's got to be it. Uh, it's a good day for multi, it was a good day for multi-species fishing, six different species of fish, you know, so I I'm pretty satisfied, but we'll see if I can catch anything else. All right, what we got here? We got a bluegill, yes. Species number seven for the day. There we go. A bluegill. Hey man, can't miss the bluegill. They're beautiful. All right, so we got what we got today. Channel catfish, brown bowhead, white perch, green sunfish, red breast sunfish, and a bluegill. All right, awesome. There we go, see if we can catch anything else.